everyone, this video is a part of my upcoming review about the veteran links that I'm editing right now and as you may know, I broke my wheel very badly and now it's being repaired. So while I'm waiting uh, to get it back and I have some kind of a delay from FedEx for whatever reason, so I'm waiting for it and I cannot finish my review because, well, I need some footage still, some b-roll, some tests and stuff like that. While I'm waiting for it, I decided to post this video on YouTube because, well, it's somewhat useful for many people who are considering Lynx as their main wheel and I would say it's a good choice for sure. So this is a non-scientific range test of me uh, riding my wheel casually and speeds between 25 kilometers an hour up to 70 kilometers an hour or so and the big chunk of this ride was close to 70 kilometers an hour because I needed to get home quicker it was getting dark and I was going along a public road with a lot of traffic so I needed to ride fast so I consumed a little bit more than that but probably this is exactly what you can expect from your wheel especially considering that uh, I weigh a lot and uh, you know uh, we have mountains so probably your data is going to be a little bit better than mine anyway let's start i just came out from home with about 98 percent because i charged my wheel up to 149.5 or 0.6 volts not to overcharge the wheel so let's start i'm not going too fast and i'm not going too slow so it's kind of very casual riding for me So yeah, as you can see, I'm riding on different roads. Uh, sometimes it's bike trails because, well, not because I cannot go on the road, but because I really like bike, well, that particular bike trail. But when I go on the road, I go about 60, 65 kilometers an hour. It really depends on uh, the conditions around. Sometimes a little bit faster, sometimes a little bit slower. a little bit of wobbles uh, on the crack on the asphalt. <laughs> a couple of words about wobbles. Uh, you can lower the wobbles by lowering the pressure in your tire too. So if you are riding with uh, something over 35 psi, I think it makes sense to lower it down to 30 or something like that. And it will definitely help. But at the same time, keep in mind that if you lower your psi way too low, the more chances you have to get a flat. And I got a couple of flat tires on electric unicycles on my original Sherman. And uh, every time it is devastating. I didn't get wipe out just because of my pure luck. But besides that, it's kind of, you cannot control it. So keep it mindful and think about some good balance between of getting rid of wobbles because of your tire pressure and getting rid of that risk of getting a flat tire. Okay, I'm at the second spot and the sunset is beautiful. Check this out. Uh, so the darkness bot is saying that I have 69% of the battery uh, left, which is nice. And uh, I've done 48 point, oh, sorry, 44.8 kilometers, I'm almost 45 kilometers. And it is 138.1 volts. So what does it mean? Well, uh, it means basically that you will have probably around uh, 80 to 85 kilometers uh, from your wheel. Good fun, 80 kilometers, and the rest is going to be pretty miserable. But I mean, it is what it is. 80 kilometers isn't bad for a 2700 watt hour battery. I would say it's pretty much great.
Okay, it's time to go home. Uh, it's a little bit of sand, which is always a lot great surprise. So I'm at my place and I got 28% of the battery left with 58.9 kilometers, almost 60 kilometers, a little bit shy of that. And the voltage is at 124 volt. So that's the result. To be fair, I was riding uh, back home uh, very fast. So probably I consumed much more energy than initially. But anyway, it is what it is. It's a, a real world, range sort of probably you'll have another 10 percent uh, of your battery that you can ride without any issues but at 15 percent it will start slowing you down pretty drastically i would say so this is my range test and i like this kind of stuff because it shows you the real world range not some kind of range in serial kind of situations where you're riding at 25 kilometers an hour on a flatland and yada 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 no uh this way you ride from bike trails to public roads with different speeds so your all the data that you need to understand what this wheel is capable for your particular ride and i'm pretty sure your data will be much better than mine. At the end, I had 28% of the battery left, and it means that I would have probably another 13%, meaning 13 kilometers uh, until the slowdown. And after the slowdown, it's close to 15 kilometers because uh, uh, the lower the battery is, the faster it is just charging. So I think it's close to 15 kilometers. And then you have uh, the low battery mode that will give you another 5 to 10 kilometers just in case because it allows your cells to discharge a little bit lower than zero. It is not recommended though, so you shouldn't do it on a regular basis, but I mean like if you need to get home whatever, you can do that. So yeah, this is my test. If you like it, you can consider liking this video. If you don't like it, you can consider disliking this video. Everything is fair and well, I hope we will see you next time. Thank you for your time.